Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a first impression and review on the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Water Foundation. I have a sample set here. Now, this is not very big, but it was super cheap. I think they have a couple of color sort of matching options with the sample set on Nourished Life. This was only like a couple of dollars, so I am slightly concerned I may not be able to get um, like a full face first impression. I think these are more intended to use for color matching. There's also a sample size of the Luminous Primer vitamins plus antioxidants. So I just want to go through a couple of little things about this foundation. So this is a water-based foundation. It's fruit pigmented, full coverage, and is supposed to give you a light, dewy finish. So not too, like, heavy or hydrating, but lightly dewy. And it says, healthy hydrating foundation gives you beautiful, flawless, full coverage with a slightly dewy finish for a glowing complexion. Nourishing formula with soothing calendula. That is so weird. I'm just looking on the back of this sample set and it says, this product does not contain calendula. That's really weird. Okay, hydrating aloe juice, protective green tea, anti-aging red wine, reservatrol, cold pressed unrefined fruit oils of pomegranate, acai berries, moisturize and soften, colored from vitamin and antioxidant rich fruit pigments. I think this sounds like it would be good for most skin types because it is slightly hydrating but it's a water-based foundation so it's not going to have that oiliness to it. It's all natural, vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, so I'm just going to jump straight in and start testing these out. I'm going to start out with the primer. So this is a silicon-free vitamin and antioxidant infused primer. It has light reflective pigments to diffuse flaws and illuminate for a healthy glow. I just want to try to show you how much product I'm going to get out of this. Oh, it looks kind of gooey. Oh, it does have a really strong smell. Holy moly. I can't... <laughs> Oh, I don't really, to be honest, I'm, yeah, not loving the smell of that. I don't know if this is going to come up on camera, but it's a really interesting texture. It's definitely not like a moisturizer. It kind of feels like a silicon without being a, it's silicon free, but it's more like a gel. And I can see the light reflective pigments in there. I'm just going to pat this in. Where I need it. Oh, it feels nice. Not gonna lie, the smell is a little overpowering for me. I think it said to leave it for like, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes to see the results, so I might do that. Oh yes, I am getting a glow that is full short. It's very silky. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a minute or so just to settle into the skin and I'll see how my skin looks and feels after that. Okay, so it's been about a minute or two since I applied the primer. I really love this. So I really like how it has not left a residue on my skin. I don't feel oily, but it's given me that reflect and I feel like it has kind of filled in my pores a little bit. I think this will be a really good base for makeup for sure. The smell I did not enjoy <laughs> throughout the application process, but... Now that it has settled on my skin, I can't smell it um, once it's applied. So if you are someone who is really sensitive to smell, it just might be something to keep in mind. Okay, moving on to the foundation. We have four different colors to test in this set. I think I got like the light, the lightest one. This one has neutral one, warm two, neutral two, and warm three. These look too light. That looks way too pink. That looks way too yellow. This one looks a bit peachy. I think I'm going to go in with this last one to start with and just see if I can get a color match. Oh, good. My tan's back. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with my camera, but I look so washed out. I'm just going to test. Okay. I think I'm just going to go in with this one. You think that the tester looks small? Well, there's even less product than what you think. Natural products, most of the time, 
especially water-based foundations, you do need to make sure you shake the product before you use it. I'll show you what I mean. See how there's bits of yellow in that? So I think I'm going to go in with this brush because these guys don't really pick up on a lot of the product, like they don't absorb a lot of the product. So it's blending out really nicely. I think this brush is definitely helping to, to get as much as I can out of the product. So I'm definitely not going to get a huge amount of coverage out of that sample, but we're going to do our best. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that so far. I think the color is great, but I just want to leave it for a little bit just to settle, see if it oxidizes or goes oily or anything like that. While I am waiting, I thought I would just do some swatches with you with the remaining um, samples that I have. So I'll start with the lightest, which is Neutral 1. Whoa, this is for like porcelain skin. It's so important to mix these type of foundations, particularly when they're natural, even when they're not. Um, Water-based products, you do need to really get in there and give it a good mix because quite often like the yellow kind of separates and in the case of my colour that has suited me the best, which was Warm 3, if I didn't mix that yellow in, it was going to look a little bit too pink on me. So that's really important. So this is the neutral one. You can see how light it is. Super light. Uh, it does look a little bit more pink off camera than it does in the camera for some reason. Okay, this is Warm 2. This one's Warm 2. It does look a lot more pink now that it's next to a warmer tone. And now I'm going in with Neutral 2. I'm just trying to rub the yellow in that's separated. So otherwise it's, it is looking quite pink actually. So you can see when you put them up against each other, you can see the difference in the tones. So you've got cooler tone, a warmer tone, and something more neutral. Okay, guys, so my final thoughts on this foundation is I actually really love it. I know that sounds weird that I'm surprised, but I have tried a few of the 100% Pure foundation or concealer products in the past, and I just found the colors were too orange and the, the texture or the finish just wasn't quite right for me. So I'm not going to lie, I didn't really have high expectations of this product. But the color is great for me and I really love the finish. I think the primer definitely helps. I think this would be a great foundation for any skin type because it's not too oily or greasy or hydrating. It feels kind of like a satin finish, or not even. It just it just feels barely there. I'm getting a nice glow without any oiliness, and it feels really nice. And I think in terms of coverage, it's given me light to medium, like it's evened everything out, and it has um, covered a couple of little red spots that I had. Quite easily with that small amount so if you want heavier coverage I'm sure if I had more product if I did a second layer or using a beauty blender then I'm sure that I could achieve a, a medium to full sort of coverage with that foundation as well really love this product happy to recommend it so I hope you found this video helpful today let me know if you have any questions comments suggestions down below. As always, thank you for your support. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Out. I'm out of here. Why oh, I find that noise so satisfying. I guess I just got enough for one. Shut up, Siri. I don't. Piss off. Blah, 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 blah.